Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bashir Raka Kodash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Bouts with Depression and Anxiety. So did Yahusha. Isaiah 53 and 3. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Verse 4. Surely he have borne our griefs and carried our sor sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the Most High and afflicted. All right, for brothers that are going through depression and anxiety, which are nothing but demons, okay, Yahweh Shah went through this as well. Depression is nothing but low mood, feeling down and out, you know, inability to sleep, so on and so forth. Anxiety means nothing but ongoing or intense slash extreme worrying. This comes with the lifestyle of a prophet. All right. Burying our cross such as Yahweh Shai. And with the process of burying our cross, we are getting purified through afflictions, tribulations, persecutions which promotes spiritual growth but at the same time frame we encounter depression meaning low mood and anxiety which is intense worrying Lord will you're edified I previously stated that Yahweh Shai went through depression and anxiety. And let's prove that. For the term sorrows, according to the Hebrew Strong's H4341, pronounced as mach, ab, mach. Ab, which means pain, sorrow, physical pain. So Yahusha experienced body pain. His back hurt, his legs hurt, and things of that nature. Now, the scripture doesn't indicate this, but we are not going through nothing Yahusha didn't go through. Also, mental pain. When you go into that term mental, it means to think. So, Yahusha had headaches from ongoing worrying and things of that nature. Okay? And such as we. Remember, the servant is not above the master. All right? Yahusha is classified as the captain of our salvation in that tried stone. He received that title of being the captain of our salvation because he was tried through trials, encounter, and life when he walked this earth 2,000 years ago. Okay? It also states, according to Strong's definitions, grief. Grief leads to low mood, which is a bout with depression. Okay? Another point. According to the Hebrew for the term grief, Strong's H 2483, pronounced as Ka La Yah. All right? And it means, or, or according to our line of biblical usage, sickness. So Yahweh Shai got sick. According to Strong's definitions, malady.
which means he had ailments, illnesses, all right? And I forgot that medical term for um, when Yahweh Shah was worrying about going on the cross and the events leading up to the crucifixion, crucifixion, he started sweating blood, all right? So that is an ailment, an illness, all right? So he suffered anxiety, meaning what? Intense or extreme slash ongoing worrying, all right? Grief, and like I said before, grief leads to what? Depression, low mood, feelings of being down and out. We use Yahawashah as an example to continue to carry our cross. And most importantly, we must fast and pray as well. And opening up the book of comfort for spiritual nourishment. This is Isaiah 28 and verse 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, power, behold, I lay in Zion, the nation of Israel, for a foundation, a stone, hen shahoshah, a tri stone, hen shahoshah, a precious cornerstone, hence Yahushai, a sure foundation, hence Yahushai. He that believe shall not make haste. The reason why Yahushai is this precious cornerstone, a sure foundation, is because he was tried. He conquered sin within the flesh. And therefore, he's classified as that precious cornerstone. And another term for a cornerstone is a leader, hence the captain of our salvation. When we focus on tried in the Hebrew, Strong's H, 976, pronounced as ba khan ba khan and it means testing, tested, tried. And according to the lexicon, a tried stone proved stability so as to be suitable for the foundation of a building. All right. Again, proved stability. So Yahweh went through. He encountered everything we are going through. And that is the reason why he's suitable for the foundation of the third temple. All right. Hebrews 12 and 2. Looking unto Yahweh the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. All right, so he's sitting on the right hand of Yahweh because he conquered life. When we focus on author in the Greek, Strong's G 747, Archegas, Archegas. And get to the point, outline of biblical usage, definition two, one that takes the lead in anything and thus affords an example, a predecessor in a matter pioneer. So when it comes to faith, Yahweh Shai is the pioneer, okay? We look unto him. We look unto him to carry on. And we pray to him to get to the Father to carry on. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, all right?
And last but not least, finisher in the Greek. Strong's G, 5051. Telayotes. Telayotes. And according to definition two, one who has in his own person raised faith to its perfection, Yahweh Shai. Okay? And so set before us the highest example of faith. All right? Now, if Yahweh Shai got through it, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, looking unto Yahweh Shai, we can get through it. This thing we call life. Burying our cross, which comes with what? Depression and anxiety, persecutions, afflictions, tribulations, so on and so forth. To purify us as that fine, fine gold. Lord will your edify, Shalom.